All right. Well, hi, everybody. Like she said, my name is Noelle. Um, I'm 24 years old and I grew up in Lancaster and so I still live here. Um, I so I went to college at Ohio Christian University and I was there for children's ministry and I did that for about two and a half years. Uh, but then when COVID hit, it was really hard to do children's ministry because I mean, kids don't know how to use laptops and iPads or they do, but they're not fully engaged. And it was just like a really like hot mess of a situation. And I was like, okay, this is not what I want to do anymore. Maybe I'll come back to it one day. Um, but back in 2019, I kind of hinted at the idea that I wanted to open a coffee shop, but I was like, I can't do this. Like I'm too young. This is not really what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so I kind of put it in the back of my mind, but my dad, he's super like business oriented. And he was like, okay, if this is something you want to do, he's like, I can help you. Like we're, we can make a good team. Like, just tell me what you want to do and I'll make it happen basically. So last June, I was like, okay, I don't really know, you know, when this whole pandemic thing is going to end, but this is something I want to do. So I have a little bit more time. Let's work on it. Let's see what we can do. So my dad started looking at buildings and I was in Colorado, actually, I was on top of a mountain of all places, I had no service, and he called me and he was like, I found a location, it's the perfect location, you're gonna love it, and I was like, okay, whatever, sure, <laughs> so I come back and we look at the building, and I was like, oh, this is actually not too bad, and I was like, okay, but we just still don't have any money, so what are we going to do, he was like, don't worry, I got you, I was like, okay, so we found a few business partners who were really excited. They were like, yeah, let's put all the like chain coffee shops out of business. And I know people will support local, so let's do this. And I was like, okay, I guess we're doing it. So um, we started construction in September and it was actually, it was unfortunate, but it kind of like was good timing because I worked at Fairfield Christian here in town and I was in the daycare and they were like, hey, um, we're taking like all your 40 hours and we're cutting you to 15 and we're taking your classroom from you and like all of this stuff, basically because they didn't have the money to fund all those classrooms. And I was like, okay, well, what a good time to quit and start my own business. So <laughs> it all just kind of worked out. I mean, it definitely took longer than I had hoped, but you know, all good things are worth waiting for. So we finally opened in April and we've been open for four months now and it's been absolutely amazing. So that's kind of the story of how it got started. So what kind of, um, I know you have cafe and coffee. So what does it look like? You have drive through and what all um, different kinds of things do you have to offer? Right. So yeah, we have a drive through which has been super amazing. Of course, we have inside seating, so we can fit up to 40 to 50 people in here. And um, we have a patio outside, um, which has been great um, for the summer. And um, of course, we do coffee. Um, we do all the like specialty lattes and cold brew. Um, we have some non-coffee options, so like hot chocolate, chai lattes, smoothies. We have some bottled drinks. And then of course, we have tons of pastries. Um, cinnamon rolls, uh, mini loaves, muffins, cookies, all that good stuff. And just a few weeks ago, we started doing lunch wraps, which have been super successful. And just this morning, we started breakfast sandwiches, uh, which we sold out in like an hour and a half. So that was crazy. <laughs> um, and then we also have some gluten-free options, um, which is made by Happy Goat here in Lancaster. Um, they've been super great to work with. And yeah, we just kind of have a large variety of stuff for everybody. And we hope that we can continue to grow and offer more things for everybody's needs. Do you have other bakeries that are bringing things into your um, cafe also from other places? Yes. Yeah, so our main um, baker is Clear Creek Cakes and Bakes from Amanda. Mm -hmm. um, and then just recently we started using Tasty's Sweet Treats and she's based out of Logan. So everything is local. Noel, where are you, where are you located? 
What is your address? We are at 637 East Main Street in Lancaster. We are closer to like the uh, hospital side of Main Street. Okay. And I didn't catch the name of the bank of the uh, shop. Oh, it's True North Coffee and Cafe. Um, Noel, in the chat, I have a question about what are your hours? Oh, yes. Um, I can send them there. So Monday through Friday, we are open 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, and our inside always closes an hour before and then our drive through stays open till the time said. And then on the weekends, we are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So you have outside seating and inside seating. Do you have space in there to have meetings? Yes. Yeah, we have, we've had a few people meet here. So we've had groups of like 12. Um, we've had groups of like 30 to 40. So we've got plenty of room for all that good stuff. Good. So it's pretty cool that, you know, we talk about the good and bad things that have come from the pandemic. It's kind of cool that you started because of it. And in the, you know, even though all the things that were going on, you still have a successful business, you know, coming out of it. That's pretty sweet. Like, I don't know how many people have that story. I think it's more like we don't have workers or, you know, we might go under or the changes in COVID have been bad, but I think your story is positive, which is great. Yeah. I'm sure that, um, I'm sure Karen Dawson, now that she knows where you are, is going to be in through there because um, she's in Lancaster off, often now, so she may be coming to visit you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I was, will pop up. <laughs> so I noticed in front of your building, um, not maybe it was before the 4th of July, you had all the flags um, from all the different um, armed forces. Is that is there a reason for that? Or are you just... Um, yeah, so we're actually, we're trying to keep them up all the time, um, but sometimes the weather causes them to fall into the street and so we obviously didn't want that to happen um but I mean I I just love this country and my dad's a veteran and so I just think it's super important to show support for those people who have worked so hard and sacrificed their time and their, even their lives sometimes for our country and just to show that we show them support and um, we even offer a veteran discount for 10 percent all the time so that's one of the reasons why we decided to put those out there. That's cool. Very cool. Um, Kim asked in the chat, do you have Wi-Fi? Yes, we have free Wi-Fi. Um, okay, so Tracy, on a Sunday morning, are you asking hours on a Sunday? Maybe she's not on I think she's asking about the coffee at oh. Fairfield in the oh, cafe. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Cool. I can't see all the messages. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We've never thought about it. Um, I know they have a cafe, but maybe they're not open right now. So, yeah, we would be open to doing something like that. That'd be awesome. All right. That was brief. Does anybody else have any other questions? I don't have any questions, but I just want to congratulate you, Noel. I mean, to be 24 and to, you know, stick to your passion. I mean, it took, a, you know, everything for a reason, the delays and, you know, everything else, but obviously it was meant for you to do it. And congratulations. I mean, this is a true example of our future. <laughs> 24 year old, well, we're, you. you know, opening our own shop. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy. I mean, I didn't know what to expect, especially opening at such a weird time. Um, but it's been overwhelming and all glory to God. And it's just been so cool to see so many different people and meet so many different people in the community and even people who travel here. It's like, this is so cool. This has been my dream. So. <laughs> Um, Kim asked, do you have things that are only available at your shop? Um, like specials, like that you can't get anywhere else. Um, 
I mean, I would say there's no other, like nobody else in Lancaster serves one like coffee. Um, that's our roaster. They're based out of Columbus. Um, so I think it's pretty cool that we use them. Um, all their coffee is organic and fair trade. Uh, so I think that's pretty awesome. Um, right now we actually are selling some popcorn that is based in Cleveland. And I know that nobody else around has that. So I think that's pretty unique. Um, and I don't know, I, we have a great team and I think they're really awesome and friendly and they're always coming up with new creative drinks and things like that. And I know you can find that other places, but I feel like we just have come up with some pretty cool stuff um, that other people may not have thought of, so. <laughs> I saw some things that you had for Shark Week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. A lot of people are very excited about Shark Week. Yes, oh my gosh, Shark Week was crazy. Like, um, at first I didn't really even think about doing things like that. Um, but our baker was like, we're doing Shark Week stuff. I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, let's create a drink. So we created like um, a blue raspberry. Uh, we call them refreshers or blasters. So it's like coconut milk and juice and vanilla. And then we put little Swedish fish in it like it was the ocean. Um, so that was fun. And then we had like shark pudding cups that had blue pudding that looked like the ocean and cake that looked like sand and little sharks in them. So that was cool. Um, and then we've just kind of been doing some specials. Like last week we had like a Pop Rocks um, jitterbug for the Lancaster Festival. Um, so it was popping off because there's always fireworks that are popping during the finale um, at the Lancaster Festival. Um, and we just try and like find out what's ever going on that week and play to that. And I think that brings a lot of people in and they're excited for whatever's new. And we're super excited about fall and Christmas and we got lots of fun stuff coming, so. <laughs> um, Tracy wanted to know how many employees do you have? Oh yeah, uh, right now we have about 12 employees. Anybody else have any other questions for Noel? It looks like you're busy. <laughs> yeah this is like my office slash break room for the employees so they all come in here all the time <laughs> but I don't mind it um Kim said in the chat too congrats and I think I think all around that's um it's it's fantastic the of what you did during a pandemic I think that's amazing so yes definitely congrats on that 